Hello and welcome to LearnStock. Today we're diving deep into the fascinating realm of living organisms, exploring the very essence of life itself. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our captivating science content. Now let's embark on this exciting journey into the world of biology. Biology is more than just a subject in school, it's the scientific exploration of life and its interactions with the environment. The very word biology itself is derived from two Greek words, bios, meaning life, and logos, meaning study. So, essentially, biology is the study of life. Biology covers various subdisciplines that specialize in studying different aspects of life, including anatomy, physiology, genetics, and ecology. It examines the structure, function, behavior, and interactions of organisms ranging from microscopic bacteria to complex multicellular organisms like humans. Through its branches, biology seeks to understand the processes that drive life at molecular, cellular, organismal, and ecological levels. Let's start by categorizing things in the biological realm. There are two main classes, living things and non-living things. Living things, as the name suggests, are things that have life in them. This includes all animals and plants. Organism is a term that refers to any living thing. Organisms exhibit various characteristics that define life, such as growth, reproduction, response to stimuli, metabolism, and the ability to maintain homeostasis. They are also capable of evolving and adapting to their environment over time. Non-living things, also known as abiotic factors, do not possess life or biological processes. They include entities such as rocks, minerals, water, air, and natural phenomena like wind and fire. These elements lack the fundamental properties exhibited by living organisms such as cellular structure, metabolism, and the ability to reproduce. It's important to note that dead animals and plants fall into a unique category. Although they were once living organisms, they no longer exhibit the characteristics associated with life. When organisms die, they undergo a process called decomposition in which their organic matter breaks down and returns to the environment. While dead organisms may still contain trace elements of life, they are considered non-living entities since they lack the ability to carry out vital life processes. So, why should we bother studying biology? Well, understanding living organisms is crucial for a variety of reasons. Firstly, biology helps us comprehend the intricate web of life on our planet. By studying different organisms, we gain insights into their behavior, anatomy, and ecological roles contributing to a deeper understanding of our world. Secondly, biology is the key to advancements in medicine. By studying the human body and other organisms, scientists develop treatments, vaccines, and medical technologies that improve our health and well-being. Lastly, studying biology fosters an appreciation for the diversity of life. It encourages environmental awareness and the importance of preserving ecosystems for future generations. To recap, we've journeyed through the essence of biology, defining it as the study of life and delving into the two biological classes, living as things that have life in them and non-living things as things that have no life in them. The term organism encapsulates all living things from the mightiest creatures to the most microscopic. Finally, we explored the importance of studying biology, emphasizing its role in helping us comprehend the intricate web of life on our planet, aiding in medical advancements and appreciation for the diversity of life. Thanks for joining us on this exploration of living organisms. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Until next time, stay curious.